Let's solve this problem. So reduce the following fractions to lowest term. So let's start with 1, 4, 8. So a fraction is said to be in lowest term if the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator is 1. So this fraction is not yet in lowest term because the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator is not yet 1. But it's actually 4. So by the way, if you don't know yet how to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers, I already have a previous video about that, so I'll just link it in the description so you can watch it first. So to reduce this fraction to lowest term, we simply divide both numerator and denominator by their GCF, which is 4. So we have 4 divided by 4 is 1, over 8 divided by 4 is 2. So therefore, the lowest term is 1 half. Now, another method is to do prime factorization on the numerator and denominator. So, the prime factorization of 4 is 2 times 2, while the prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And then, we cancel common factors in the numerator and denominator. So, we can cancel out this 2, another 2. So, we are left with the numerator of 1 and denominator of 2. So therefore, the final answer is 1 half. For number 2, we have 20 over 30. So obviously, the GCF of 20 and 30 is 10. So we can divide both numerator and denominator by 10. We will have 20 divided by 10, it's 2. Over 30 divided by 10, it's 3. So the lowest term is 2 thirds. For number 3, we have 36 over 48. So the GCF of 36 and 48 is 12. So we can divide both numerator and denominator by 12. So we have 36 divided by 12, that's 3. Over 48 divided by 12, it's 4. So the lowest term is 3 fourths. If we do prime factorization, 36 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. While 48 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So, canceling out common factors on the numerator and denominator, we have this 2, another pair of 2, and we have a pair of 3. So, therefore, we are left on the numerator with 3, and on the denominator, 2 times 2, which is 4. So, the lowest term is 3 fourths. For number 4, we have 124 over 136. So, if we find the GCF of 124 and 136, this is actually equal to 4. So, dividing both numerator and denominator by the GCF of 4, we will have 124 divided by 4, it's 31. Over 136 divided by 4, it's 34. So, the lowest term is 31 over 34. If we do prime factorization, 124 can be written as 2 times 2 times 31, while 136 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 17. So we can cancel out common factors in the numerator and denominator, which is this 2, another pair of 2. So therefore, we are left with 31 on the numerator and on the denominator, the product of 2 and 17, which is 34. So the lowest term is 31 over 34. For number 5, we have 135 over 300. So the GCF of 135 and 300 is equal to 15. So dividing both numerator and denominator by their GCF, which is 15, we will have 135 divided by 15, it's 9. Over 300 divided by 15, it's 20. So the lowest term is 9 over 20. Now it's your turn to try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.